Okay, yeah, counting shape. So here, basically, you're going to count shapes, okay? And I will give you a some tricks to count shape easier. Let's just start with question number one. Yalla, Zaina. This teacher. How many lines you have? Uh, so I did it, and uh, how many lines are in the following figure? So I counted them eight. Eight, excellent. You can count them by uh, draw, add them like that, and you're going to have an eight, okay? And to not distract yourself, because definitely you will miss one line uh, with the speed, so you can just know what is the uh, beginning and end of the line. So here's the beginning and end. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so we have 16. And we we know that it's one line, so it's going to be uh, divided by two. This is going to be eight, okay? Okay, yeah, question two. Um, Yella Patton. How many triangles are in the following figure? Um, A. Excellent, A. So we have here one, two, three, four. And then we will count the bigger triangle. So we have here uh, five, six, and here is seven. So it's going to be seven, okay? Okay, my voice is lagging. You, okay, let me check my internet connection. I think, yeah, I think I fix it now, okay. I fix it now. So again, let me explain again so uh, that you have my voice lagging. How many lie on the fi uh, figure? You have line, you can draw, add them, or to not, uh, to not distract yourself, you will just put a circle on the beginning and and you will count the circle that you put it. So you have here 16 circle, you will divide it by two and have eight line. And here for triangle, you have a uh, triangle, so you will count them uh, traditional way. So one, two, three, four, triangle, uh, a small triangle and five, three, uh, five, six, seven, large triangle, okay? Okay, question number three. Let's see here, Jude. Question three. How many circles are in the following figure? Well, the answer is four because uh, here is the one triangle, and here is the second, and here is the third, and here is the fourth. Oh, excellent. So we have here four circles. One, two, three, four circles. Excellent. Okay, for rectangle, welcome for rectangle. Let me solve it to you with the square that you can know what's the trick. You can uh, say like that. Okay, you can say like that. This is a one rectangle, two, three, and here's four, five, six, and then here's six, and then you're going to be like that seven, eight, and then nine. 10, and then you're going to let the 11, 12, 13, and I lost counting, uh, honestly, okay? You can do it like that, but it's going to take a lot of time. So the easier way here, you can do like that. You have to know what is the number of triangle uh, on this side or on the horizontal side, and what is the number of triangle, uh, sorry, Rectangle on this side, okay? So this is going to be one plus two plus three, okay? You follow and give me, right? One plus two plus three. It's going to be six. And here on this side, you're going to have one plus two, which is going to be three, okay? Are you with me so far? So, 
First, the first step, you're going to add one, two, three, which is going to be six. And one, two, here's three. And then you will multiply them. Six multiplied by three. So it's going to be 18. What do you think? This is smart, right? Um, Okay, question number two, the answer will be seven because you have here one, two, three, four small triangle and three large triangle. The circle are, uh, inside the circle, it's going to be calculated. So you can calculate it with the uh, line of the circle. So you have here one, two, three, and four, okay? Okay, let's see. Uh, I will give you another example to prove in that my, uh, my way of rectangle going to be correct on any situation, okay? So I will add a line here. So here's going to be one plus two plus three plus four, okay? So here's going to be one plus two plus three plus four, which is equal 10. And here one plus two, which is going to be three. So 10 multiplied by three is going to be 30. And you can uh, you can just draw it by or count it by drawing. Okay, so the answer now will be eighteen. Okay, you all understand? Okay, for this question. Let me show you here. You follow me when I'm doing like that. You have here one rectangle, two, three, four, five, six. Then you have also like that, right? You can also see what I'm saying here that this is seven, eight, this is nine, this is 10, this is 11, 12, 13, okay? And also you have it like that. So the uh, that way with this trick, it's going to be easier to you, okay? On this square, we have another trick. On this square, we have another trick. Fatima, do you know what's the trick? On this square? Okay, let me explain it to you and I will let you to answer, okay? On this square, on first, on the rectangle here, we're going to have one plus two plus three, and this is the answer now. And then one plus two, and it's going to be three. Then this is the first uh, step. The second step, we will multiply by uh, each other. Six multiplied by three, it's going to be 18. For this square, it's going to be here one, two, three. So you're going to have that, that one multiplied by one will equal one. And then two multiplied by two, which will be equals four. And three multiplied by three, it will equal nine. Then you will add them together. So what do you think, Fatima? Um, oh, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, what do you think, Fatima? Yes, you can. Ali. Oh, sorry. Okay. I think it's a great idea. Okay, so this is going to be one plus four plus nine, which is equal what? 14. 14, excellent. Okay, Yala Fatima, I want you to help me with the tri uh, triangle. You have here triangle, and this is going to be the same, like above. Here's one plus two plus three. Going to be what? It's going to be six. Ex excellent. So for... These are the three rules that we would use it on this shape. When it came to you on the exam and uh, tell you that you should, how many rectangle on the following, or how many square, or how many triangle. Rectangle, it has a two step, which is first, you're going to add one, two, three, and uh, you're going to add one to each uh, row. Here. And for the column and row, Okay, horizontal and vertical. And then you will take these two numbers and multiply it by itself. 
for the square, it is another uh, rule. You're going to multiply the number by itself first, and then you will add them, okay? For triangle, okay. you will simply add them. So it's going to be six. Excellent. Okay, Fatima, could you please help me with the questions? Seven, eight, and nine. Okay. So do I just count them? Yes, for the circle, you can just count them by the uh, circle like that. So for okay. the circle. One, two, five. three, four, five, six, six. Mm, you forget one. So here Wait. is a. Wait, okay. let, me, let me check. Okay. Sorry. So how many circles? One, two, three, one, two, four, three. five, six, seven, seven. Excellent, seven. Excellent, father. Okay, so here, how many lines? How many lines past the points? One, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five. And that's all I think. Five, but I'm pretty sure there's more. But I'm not okay, sure. So one, two, here's three, four, and here's five, and here's six. Six, oh, sorry. Excellent, six. Now, the first way you can't use it for a square. The first one for the just rectangle. The second one for the square. And this one for triangle, okay? For okay. the triangle, you can use it with angles, okay? So we can use it with angles. What is the way, Fatima? Triangle, it seems like, uh, or sorry, angle, it seems like triangle. So you can use the same way, which is what? Okay. One, two, three, and then we add them, which is six. Excellent, six. Excellent, Fatima. Okay, with this, we end a mental flexibility. And for the next class, which is going to be on Sunday, we will start with practice, okay? I will not give you a homework.